Hi there, Lloyd from LloydMacedo.com and with LloydMacedo.com. The date is October 30th, 2014. It's a Thursday. It's 10.16 in the morning. Now, I happen to get this email from, obviously, I'm not going to tell you who was the email from. Um, my name is so-and-so, XYZ. Please keep this confidential. I've been dating this guy for four years now. I just wanted to ask you, when do you think it's the right time for two people to end a relationship? Now, uh, that's it. And she has just signed off with her name. Now, I don't know what's, I don't know the background. I don't know whether you have problems. I don't know, uh, you know, what is the reason you want to break up? <coughs> but <coughs> since your question was, when do you think it's the right time? Or what do you think is the reason for two people to end a relationship? I can give you my thoughts on when you think it's the right time to end a relationship. Now, I've been in quite a number of relationships in my lifetime. Um, if you want a count, um, around two years ago, I stopped two or three years ago, I think somewhere, a uh, couple of years ago, I stopped a count and I think I clocked at around 400. <laughs> so I had many relationships, um, uh, fast relationships, slow relationships. And I think my relationships used to last for two months, the longest could be two years okay so I've had many 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 relationships and um, apart from that I also have had many uh, clients who have come to me with their relationships when I became a professional coach and trainer uh, many people would come to me with their relationships their stories their uh, beliefs and then what happens you get a perspective of different things so based on that vantage point I can give you my 11 points as to why, um, you know, why a relationship should end. If any of these 11 points are there or if more than one is there, then you definitely should break off the relationship. So when is it uh, the right time to break off a relationship? The first one is when there are too many expectations and demands. Now, in every relationship, let's be honest, let's be totally um, upfront about this everyone has expectations you can have expectations about sex you can have expectations about looks you can have expectations about behavior and if anyone tells you I don't have any expectations that's rubbish people would expect the guy or girl to be loyal faithful caring tolerant patient blah 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 you know the list goes on and on so there are quite a number of expectations and demands that people have in a relationship However, when it goes to far beyond uh, being reasonable, I think that is where problems happen. Now, um, there, are, there are many, many guys out there. I don't know about girls, but there are many guys out there who have um, loyalty issues. By loyalty issues, what I mean is they love the girl, they love the girl, but they still want to have their fun outside. They flirt around, they chat. Uh, some of them even go and have other relationships. Okay, Some guys will do that. They love one person, but they have fun with everyone else. Now, many people say this is, oh, this is very wrong. He should be pure at heart, not in have thoughts. But then uh, I think uh, one needs to be realistic. Sometimes it's there in your DNA. If it's there in your DNA, you, uh, you can control it maybe for one month, two months, six months. But at some point, it's like a rubber band. It's going to stretch back and it's going to make you become the same person that you were. So... Uh, I think one has to be pretty realistic about this fact that uh, are you expecting too much? For example, another expectation or demand can be he has to behave himself or he has to clean the room or he has to uh, be, you know, take me out for a movie, whatever. He has to spend time with me more than he spends at work. Now, if the guy is a workaholic, if the guy is a workaholic, if the guy is untidy and he tries his level best but he keeps slipping back to his old habits, it's it's not being reasonable. You need to understand that expecting the other person to change is the biggest mistake you can make in a relationship. So the first point is having too many expectations and demands. Trust me, the lesser expectations and demands you have, the fewer needs you have. Just focus on the needs, the core area. Rest of it, forget it. Okay. The second one, uh, which which really causes problems in a relationship, is taking the other person for granted. Now. I'll give you an example. 
a um, friend of mine, he had this girlfriend of his. He used to do whatever he could in his limited capacity to keep her happy, buy her stuff, take her out, spend time with her, whatever. However, uh, every year, every year, he used to, always on a birthday, he used to spend at least five grand he used to spend on her birthday. Now, it so happened that he celebrated around, you know, four, five years together and he celebrated her birthday again. But this time, he didn't have the budget or something and he spent a little less. He didn't spend the money that he was supposed to spend. And because he spent less, she was not very happy about it. You know, see, it's a classic example of taking a person for granted. There are many of us, many of us, we take the air we breathe for granted. We take our health for granted. We take our lifestyle for granted. And yes, many times we take the person also for granted. And this can really cause issues and problems because the person is really doing his or her best to satisfy you. And, um, you know, you take it for granted and expect, no, this is what they're supposed to do. I think this messes up things. The other thing is uh, uh, listening to the nonsense of other people. Um, you, you know, what happens is many times girls have this habit. Girls have this habit where they go and speak to their friends and their friends say, oh my God, you poor thing. You're the victim. That guy is such an animal. Oh, you should be doing this. So what happened? They brainwash their head and then they actually believe, oh, you're right. I'm the victim. I'm suffering. I need compensation. So after they listen to the shit of everyone on the planet, they actually uh, start following wrong advice and that really creates a lot of problems. Uh, my, I think uh, my first and second marriage, both of them bombed because the mother-in-law, the father-in-law and all the other relatives were involved and uh, that re really messes things up. Seriously, you, if you listen to the nonsense of other people, it can really mess up your life and uh, it can mess up the relationship. So number four, needs begin to increase. Now, um, first the person says, oh, you need to just spend time with me sometime and I'll be happy. Then the person says, no, you need to spend at least four hours with me. Then the person starts saying, no, you need to spend four hours with me and you need to be there every night on time at home. Then the person says, no, you need to spend time with me, be with me four hours and be in the night and have dinner with me every day. So when the needs begin to increase and you start putting more and more needs in front and saying, this is very, very important. I think it really messes up a relationship. Number five, which is, I think, a bad habit some women have, unspoken, unwarranted authority. You know, there are some women out there or some even men, they think they can become your parent. They think they can become your spouse. They think they can become your boss and your God. Okay. As uh, now, for example, if I was talking in a relationship, the girl is like my mother. Oh, where were you? What did you do? Why did you do it? or behave yourself, or clean your ears, or dress up properly, then they become your wife, even though they're not married to you. They're like, where did you go? How dare you went there? Why didn't you come on time? Uh, you should be there for me. Oh, I'm important in your life. Ah, total irritation. And then when they become your boss, where were you at three o'clock yesterday? I want to know. No, you have to give me a report. No, I don't believe you. You have to show me the evidence. <sighs> and then when they become God, and they become God, you have to keep me happy. It's my right because I'm in this relationship. So, see, when you have this kind of unspoken, unwarranted authority, it messes up relationships. Seriously messes up. Just have a written rule at one, two, three, four, five. Don't give too many more than that. And then just focus on achieving them. But if you keep having all these great demands and keep taking on these new roles, it'll mess up, really mess up a relationship. The next one, too much interference in personal matters. I've had these women in my life who... Absolute psycho. Psycho is an understatement. They need to check your email. They need to check your Facebook. They need to check your phone. They need to check your WhatsApp. They need to check your underwear. They need to check your clothes. They need to check your car. They need to check every single thing on the planet. These um, emotionally unstable women, they can really mess up your head. When they start interfering in all these matters, personal, office, financial, I mean, it is a mess, absolute mess. I know one of my friends is married to this psycho woman. He's a doctor and this woman is, she'll come to his office. She'll come, uh, she'll check when he goes to a health club. She'll check his car. She'll check his clothes. She even goes and sniffs his clothes. She'll check uh, what is written, uh, what is in his phone, how many messages he received, 
who did he get it from and if he goes for a business meeting she'll actually call up the persons and ask where is he and what is he doing and who are you and this messes up relationships seriously the next one number 7 no space it's like these 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 people they have to be on your face every time oh you know i love you oh you need to see my face oh you need to be even uh, even the the part that is really i mean absolutely suffocating and irritating is when people put on facebook oh my janu oh my sweetie pie i love you and they have to have every photograph holding hands holding legs they are face next to their face everything even if they wash their bum they have to wash their bum together it looks like so uh, they don't want any space they don't want space to breathe i mean initially it can be fun later on it is suffocating and for those 21 year olds who believe that this is going to be their whole life you know you know having their face next to their face that's rubbish so the next point that is point number 7 no space point number 8 very very dangerous it is nagging and complaining there are some people who are born bloody ungrateful to the core you know i i remember one of these uh, girlfriends of mine who i gave really expensive gifts i mean that that female was retarded or something even after giving a i could give her maybe a car and then she would still you know oh but you gave your ex girlfriend that oh but you know you're still spending time with your uh, other friends oh but this was not enough no i wanted this color nagging and complaining can really mess up your head okay really really mess up your head uh, the next point is doing the exact opposite okay opposite of what you stated now there are uh, these uh, psychotic people out there who for example i had this girl who if i would tell her say listen i got a very important project i am going to be very busy please don't disturb me that particular day this female would make sure on that day itself only on that day she would come and fight nag uh, cause a havoc make problems do everything just the opposite of what i told her not to do there are some people who really and i'm glad she's married to someone else and her life is a disaster oh, very glad about it then uh, point uh, yeah uh, point number 10 is they do not respect what you say there you know there are these people who if you tell them something instead of listening to it see the previous point is you tell them something very urgent and very important the next one this one point number 10 is if you tell them something they just don't respect it they just don't uh, i mean you can tell them please give me space when you tell them give me space they'll do the opposite so uh, not respecting what you have to say even when you tell them um, i just i just need to be left alone no point number 11 you can't talk to these people uh, there there are some of these uh, people relations you say you can open up to me about everything i'm a close friend you can tell me about everything and when you tell them honestly and openly everything they use the same information against you i uh, what's the point of then asking tell me everything and then when you don't tell them anything and you don't speak to them oh why didn't you speak to me there was this particular uh, female whom if i would talk to anything about business or you know ideas she would just criticize or make fun or chew my brains up so i stopped telling her things and when i stopped telling her she was chewing my brains out oh you stopped telling me so which part do you follow the next one uh point number 12 mismatch in values this one is pretty critical and crucial uh, it's like uh, uh this particular girl when i was pretty young uh i was young and i just wanted to have fun whether physical fun or whatever you call it uh, and i was ambitious and career minded at the same time so i didn't have time to do all nonsense she wanted us to talk for hours write letters to each other go for walks on the beach meet all her friends i didn't have time for all this shit this was her value system my value system is different so if you have two people with two different value systems you can really you know create havoc and finally most important and last point point number 13 is when you have fights and arguments every single day for every single thing and every stupid thing i think that is self explanatory and that is the time you must break up so these are my 13 points first one is too many expectations and demands second one is taking the other person for granted third one is listening to the nonsense of other people and reacting point number 4 is your needs begin to increase or the other person's need begin to increase point number 5 unspoken unwarranted authority they think they can become your mother your wife your boss your god 
Then point number six, too many inter too much inf interference in personal matters. Point number seven, no space at all. Point number eight, nagging and complaining. Point number nine, doing exactly the opposite of what you have communicated. Point number 10 is not respecting anything what you have to say, making fun of you. Uh, point number 11, you can't talk to them anymore. They're just irritating. Uh, point number 12, mismatch in values where you want something else and she believes something else is important. And last but not the least, you know, having fights and arguments every single day. See, the bottom line is this. I don't know about others, but I, if I were to get into a relationship, I'm getting into making my life easier. Not complicated, not a mess, not a headache. And there's no amount of sex, no amount of kindness, no amount of sweetie, you know, love that is worth having your brains being chewed upon and having a life being made miserable. Such people, please, I'm glad you're gone from my life, you know, right from the age of 21 and 38 now. All those people who have left me, thank you. Thank you very much for blessing someone else and cursing them. I'm very happy being as I am. You see, there's always fresh talk available. New people, new experiences, and new memories. So, Lloyd from LloydMacedo.com and who's LloydMacedo.com. This is what I believe uh, to my dear friend XYZ, who has been dating the guy for four years. When is the right time to break a relationship? Well, I hope this answers your question. Any more questions? Lloyd, LloydMacedo.com and who's LloydMacedo.com. Send it to me and I'll be glad to answer it. Goodbye for now.